Hello, I'm Nancy Florine, and I'm running for re-election as an at-large member of the Montgomery County Council. Montgomery County is a bustling place with terrific services, amenities, and opportunities, as well as our fair share of challenges. With more than a million people living here, we also have a whole lot of different perspectives on how we should move forward. Having spent my entire career in community building and local problem solving, I understand the complex issues we face, and I've developed a tradition of listening to folks on all sides and coming up with compromises that work for all of us. In Montgomery County, our top-notch education system is our best asset. I've been a lifelong supporter of funding and adding resources to Montgomery County Public Schools and Montgomery College. I voted to add and fund all-day kindergarten before it was required by the state. And I've consistently supported funding for reduced class sizes, additional student resource officers, health aides, and new construction. I know that world-class education isn't cheap. That's why I'm focused on job creation as the principal building block for our future. The recent recession required us to look hard at our economic assumptions, and I believe we need to act aggressively in attracting and retaining jobs. I'm confident that the public-private partnerships I've created with the Montgomery Business Development Corporation will help us move to a more fully evolved business-based economy. Funding for a great education system, as well as our public services generally, is totally dependent on a robust tax base, and that means jobs. We need to do all we can to create a positive business climate and environment for successful entrepreneurship and job creation. It's no secret that Montgomery County has real transportation challenges. Every minute we sit in traffic is a minute we're away from our families, jobs, and opportunities. We need a multi-pronged approach to meeting these challenges, and that starts with Metro. Keeping Metro reliable is my number one priority. It's really the cornerstone of our development and tax base. I also fully support our planned transit projects, the Purple Line and the Carter Cities Transway, as well as an enhanced bus service where we can locate it without affecting existing communities and where it's financially feasible. We must also recognize that 85% of Montgomery County residents do not take public transportation. So I'm committed to supporting our roadway network too, especially for communities north of the Beltway, where transit is not practical at this time. Like I said, we have a lot of diverse viewpoints in Montgomery County, as, and as an elected official, it's my job to listen to them all. I have a reputation for asking difficult and direct questions and pushing for straightforward answers. I do my homework. And I worry equally about the needs not only of our many committed advocates, but also the needs of residents who don't, who don't have the time or opportunity to communicate with me directly. Throughout my time in elected office, I've tried to move our community forward in a thoughtful and meaningful way without regard for political fallout. I've been very lucky that Montgomery County voters have allowed me to serve in this fashion, and I ask for your continued support. Thank you.